This is the last day of our trip, and so I thought I would take a minute to show you the things that I packed in our kitchen tote and how it all fit into this one tote. Now, I'm not exactly sure where this will fit in, whether Kev will put it at the end, where we are now, or at the beginning, so you all can see everything that we brought with us. Um, but I'm just gonna show you a few of the things that I really liked, um, things that we used often, and even some things that uh, I probably didn't have to necessarily bring. So first and foremost, I like to make sure I have plenty of bowls and plates. This was a little excessive, but we were also trying out these uh, vacuum sealed bowls and plates that we had bought. Now, the reason we ended up going with these was because our original bowls and plates that are stainless steel are really thin. So put a hot bowl of chili in there and it's hot on your hands. Now, when it's super cold out, that's lovely. But sometimes, like even for Caroline, it's a little too hot for her. So we thought we would try these insulated vacuum sealed plates and bowls. Now the bowls have been fine. They've worked great. They've held their seal really well. The plates on the other hand, at one point I had put something hot on there and it popped. So that meant it lost its seal. I don't know if that was because we were at a higher elevation or what the deal is, but I would definitely be cautious with these. So I brought a little excessive plates. But my thinking also is that sometimes you never know who you're gonna feed on the trail or if you just didn't wanna do dishes the night before, then you've already got dishes to start with in the morning and then you just wash them all together. So it's probably a little much for just three of us, but we went with it anyway. Now, for cups, we all have our own water cup. I like to keep the water cup specifically separate from any other drinks that we might have. So I also brought some of our Lifestyle Overland mugs that have a lid. So I brought two of those. And then Kevin and I each had our own coffee mug. And so we put coffee in these. And then um, Caroline has one as well for hot chocolate hot tea or like this morning for breakfast she had cold milk in it so I like to make sure to have plenty of cups I know they kind of take up space but for me there's nothing worse than using one cup for everything and so when you go to put water or something else in your cup and it still tastes like coffee I just can't do that I just can't um so speaking of coffee what we ended up doing is we ended up using our French press, which I really love this French press. It's a vacuum sealed French press. As I mentioned before, it's lost its seal. So it is starting to get hot on the outside. Whereas before when we had first gotten it a few months ago, it wasn't doing that. Now it is, but I love the size. It's enough to fill up my coffee mug and Kev's coffee mug, or we can each have about two cups of coffee out of this. So it's a really great size for two to three people to get coffee out of, unless they're heavy coffee drinkers, then you might want a bigger one. And to heat up the water, we already had this. We weren't gonna buy a little tea kettle just for that. Um, I wouldn't mind eventually though, having a smaller one or like one of those cool collapsible ones, just to save on a little bit of space. Um, as for now though, with it being so big, I usually end up sticking one of the cups in there to save on space. Another thing that I found really helpful is that um, we like to have salads every now and again, or I just want a classic mixing bowl for something. It's really nice to just have this bowl. I used it to wash my face with, I used it to make salads in, I used it to mix different things in. Um, it's just nice to have a medium sized bowl. Also a strainer. So if you need to strain beans or if you want to strain your noodles, it's really nice to have one of these or if you need to wash fruit. Also, it's nice to have just a little small skillet so I don't have to always get the big Pioneer griddle out. Um, this is just a GSI skillet so we'll do eggs or a grilled cheese or two um, in this. So I like to have this skillet. It's also got the foldable handle so it doesn't take up space with the handle. And then just a little stock pot. We've had this for a really long time. It nestled into a, bunch, a couple other little pots, but this is the medium sized one. I like to do canned vegetables in this. I like to cook rice in this, um, mashed potatoes, oatmeal, things like that in, a, in something this size with a lid. And now I have my stock pot and I really like this because then I can make um, spaghetti in this, I can make noodles in this, I can make soup in this, and it's got the foldable um, handles, but it's also got, and what I really love, 
when I cook noodles in this is it's already got the strainer in it. So the handles don't get hot and I just put my thumbs on there, strain out the water, easy peasy. I love this stock pot. Then we have this little tiny cookie sheet jelly roll pan. I love this because it fits perfectly inside the Coleman oven. So I brought this along because we made cookies, we made stuffed mushrooms, we made pizza. So it was perfect to have this to make all that in. Also because I like to chop, always have a cutting board. Always have a cutting board. Plastic, wood, whichever you prefer, but I will always have a cutting board with me. And everybody's favorite is the Partner Steel Griddle. I love this thing. It's used all of the time, at least once a day, if not almost for every meal. It is the perfect size for us all to get a grilled sandwich in. I can cook bacon on it. We can do tacos. It's just great. I love this thing so much. And so do all of you, because you keep asking where we find it. I also had a couple questions just recently because some people have this. How do I keep things from sticking? Basically treat this as if it was cast iron. So you really don't want to use, I mean, myths say you should not use soap on cast iron. You can if it's bad enough, but I try not to. I try to just use really hot water to clean this with and scrub it with and then just dry it off really, 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 really good. And then usually I'll pre-treat it with Pam and then I'll put my butter down for eggs or whatever. Stuff is just going to kind of stick. It's not completely non-stick but if you use less soap and just kind of let it gather grease and oil like a cast iron it'll treat you well another thing that i like to do which i will probably change up just a little bit because this container takes up space is i always like to have ziploc bags for leftovers or lunch meat that gets open or a half eaten apple that needs to go back in the fridge i like to have <laughs> i like to have sandwich bags quart and gallon because sometimes you just never know what size you're going to need and then I also he just had a couple koozies so I just stuck it in there but probably from here on out what I'm going to do is just have that all in a one gallon ziploc bag that I can smush all the air out of and stick it wherever I need to because this kind of takes up a lot of valuable space now we do not have one of those cool flippy rolly things with silverware and knives already in them we just didn't take the time to do that yet. So Kev had a lot of different bags because he's a bag man, a bag boy. Sack man. <laughs> he's a sack man. <laughs> and so we were able to divide everything up. So we've got silverware in here, which is forks, spoons, butter knives. Then what we ended up doing or what Kev ended up doing because he was worried about me or Caroline or him cutting off the finger is we put sharp knives in this bag so I have my big chopping knife I have a small paring knife a couple steak knives um, in this bag and it's nice because it's a thick canvas so nothing's poked through yet so fingers crossed that'll hold out for us a little bit longer then in here I've got my utensils. So I've got a can opener, I've got a big spoon, I've got a spatula, I've got our bamboo utensils in here. And so it's just really nice to have um, everything separated out so I know exactly, oh, we need forks and spoons and knives. Boom, got it. So we've been doing it like that and it's nice because they fit nice and flat in there as well. Now, will we move to one of those cool flippy rolly things one day? M maybe. I mean, I don't know. Right now, this is working for us, and we didn't have to buy anything extra, so we're gonna we're gonna roll with that for a while. Let's talk about garbage. So we've always traveled with garbage bags, but something that we decided to start doing is actually using the grocery bags from when we did our grocery runs once a week for our garbage. One. It kept everything smaller so you didn't end up filling a classic garbage bag and then having to stick that giant bag into your rig because we're in bear country still technically so you really want to make sure and put your garbage locked away where bears can't get it or if you have a bear proof container that's great but we just use our car so we've basically switched from using big garbage bags it's nice to have a couple because you never know laundry uh, muddy clothes you know 
think things happen on the trail that you might want a garbage bag. So, you know, always have a couple, but it's nice to actually kind of reduce, reuse, recycle and reuse the grocery bags for our garbage. Plus that makes them smaller that you can uh, toss them at the gas station and not get yelled at. Uh. Next. So I brought the Coleman oven and at first I kind of thought, Oh, Sarah, you're probably not going to use it that much. Don't bring it with you. It, it kind of takes up space. It's kind of big and bulky. Guys, we use this a lot from cinnamon rolls to biscuits. We bought the break apart cookie dough and made fresh cookies one night and had a movie night. I and made stuffed mushrooms. I, I mean, I think this is going to come with us on every trip. Now you never really know when you will want to use it and it actually folds up. It fits in there. I love it. <laughs> it's nice to have an oven again. So I think this is kind of permanent. Next classic scrubby brush. This looks disgusting. It will probably be retired after this trip and I'll buy a new one, but this was really nice to have to just scrub with. It dried really quickly. I didn't have to worry about stinky washcloths and things like that. And because I was using boiling water, I believed it was sanitized. We're going to roll with that and, um, you know, dish soap. Another thing, is there a fly on my head? Okay. Another thing we really love is collapsible because it doesn't take up room. So we have our collapsible washing bin. So we've used this to wash feet. We've used this to wash dishes. Um, I could probably use this to wash my hair if I really got desperate, but you know what? We made hats for a reason, right? <laughs> yeah. So we love this. It's great. Highly recommend it. We've had this for how many years now? Six years. At least since we started overlanding. Same one. Love it so much. And it just collapses right up. Okay. Another thing that I love and I tell a lot of people about, this is really dirty. Guys, camping's just dirty. Okay. So just go with it is the collapsible dish strainer. So when I'm washing dishes, I wash, scrub, rinse, whatever, and then I can put it in here so that everything can start drying out on its own. And sometimes I don't even have to take a towel and dry it, but it's got the holes, it's got utensils, it's got where you can put plates and everything. And it's raised a little bit so the water can drain out and it's collapsible. So I highly recommend this and that it's great another thing i thought i would talk to you guys about is what we've been doing for water so we've just been have two of these five gallon jugs and we actually ended up having a hard time finding places to either refill them like the water stations you know or exchanging them at grocery stores or walmarts or whatever so we ended up actually filtering rainwater that we collected because we had a lot of rain if you remember and or creek water as well so we used the life straw brand to filter water but i really liked having this and then we also have on top a rechargeable water pump that i found on amazon for like 25 bucks it's usb charged it comes with its own cord you just plug it in and it's got a tube that goes down and a little spout on and off on the top. You know when it's charged because it lights this little circle up at the top. It's fantastic and it will go for quite a number of days. Like I think we've only charged it two times and it's we're on day 30. So it's done really really well and I, I really really like it. I mean for 25 bucks and it's rechargeable like that's easy. It's not we don't have to worry about batteries. We just plug it into the car. So that's our kitchen. Oh hang on. Something I forgot to mention because I had it in the bottom of the tote is every kitchen needs to have a fire extinguisher. So I have this in the kitchen tote right next to the stove or right next to the table while I'm fixing food and prepping food. It's just really smart to have one because you don't know if while you're cooking your bacon a grease fire is going to flame up or something's going to pop out. It's just I would rather be safe than sorry. So add a fire extinguisher. And I also usually bring a couple towels and an oven mitt because I don't want to burn myself. I don't want to deal with that while, while camping. So I think that's it. That's our kitchen. All fits in the tote. And yeah, 
everything we used. In case you were wondering, you can find most of all of this on our Amazon store. Just check the link in description. All right, now it's time for me to pack this all up into the tote, finish everything up, and roll on out. Let's go. Thank you.